Hey guys, here we are. This is number four in the series of my full stack reveal and today is the gold. I know a lot of you have been waiting for this. Uh, I think I've been waiting for it as well to set it all out and have a look at it. So let's take a deeper look and see exactly what I have here. So here is my gold stack that I have built up over the last two years. Um, this is what I'm selling my silver for. This is what it's all been about. So the last three videos have shown you my total silver. And uh, let's recap. The total that I had in silver after all three, that was bullion, collectible, uh, bullion proofs and slabbed and collectibles was 1,775 ounces. Now I need to sell a bit of that and convert some of it into gold. And this is what I've got here in gold. Let's have a closer look. I'm going to start with my favourite gold one ounce, and that is the Queen's Beast Completer. And then going down, we have one ounces of nearly all the Queen's Beasts. I believe I have four left to collect. And on the other side, we have the Tudor Beast. They have been released up to five at the moment in bullion gold. And I have ounces and quarters of the five that have been released so far. Then next to that, I have the Cypher coin. I love this coin. One ounce, quarter ounce, and a tenth. And then we have two Britannias. These are both 2023. One is the Crown King and one is the Queen. So both coins, I think, will do very well. And moving to the Geigers, we have the one ounce Geiger. Moving down to the 10 gram Geiger, the five gram Geiger, the one gram Geiger, and a little series they're bringing out, which will be the one gram Geiger with American flag, Canadian and Mexican, I believe, as well to come. So that is the Geigers. Another set I'm collecting, like I have in the silvers, is the Gold Dragon Bars from Australia. 2018, 2020 and 2023 there. And I've got to fill a few uh, gaps and get the 2024. I have a couple of slab coins here. This is Year of the Snake, uh, 2013, one ounce. And a little Proof Crew Grand. Uh, at a PF69 Ultra Cameo. And we're here we have a Sovereign set. And this is the first set under King Charles. Uh, so 2023 Sovereigns. Which is the Double Sovereign, Single, Half and Quarter Sovereign. And the Memorial Sovereign when our Queen passed away. These are all proofs. And very, very nice. And carrying on with the theme of the Sovereigns, there's another eight there. These are all modern day, either Jubilee, Memorial. Uh, there may be a couple of older ones there, but pretty modern. And moving across, we have another eight there, which are older. We have some Victoria heads, some Gillix. Uh, so yeah, a few nice ones there. And just to complete the Sovereigns, I had a couple which I fitted over here, a 1957 Gillick and another one there, 18 or 1968, I believe. And finishing up with our Sovereigns, uh, we have the 2005 Sovereign, a little bit special because it had a different depiction on there. Uh, I found this one a bit cartoony, but yeah, a bit different. Upside down as well, but there you go. One of my favourite sets is the one tenth Cooks. These are all the ones that have been released and I believe it was a 2020, but I stand corrected if I'm wrong. Very, very hard to get and you're paying double the price, maybe more uh, for that one, but I have all five of them there. And some more one tenths here and we have a Panda, a Royal Arms, uh, two Royal Arms actually. Uh, American Gold Eagle, one-tenth, and the 2012 Dragon. 
Some quarters here, we have the Lunar Tiger, which I love with the 10th down there as well. And then a Libertad. And this one here I picked up, I think the mintage was only 1,000 and it's the Australian Wildlife Quarter Ounce. And gold goes into collectibles as well. Here is the five gram Call of Duty Modern Warfare bar. Um, these have gone up in price. One because of spot going absolutely mental and of course because it's Call of Duty and Limited. And moving straight across, we have the 2023 Christmas tree, five grams and a one gram Argos Harris bar. And moving down, we have an one ounce Una and the Lion bar, which I think is stunning. And we have a, another uh, proof though, 2024 Dragon, one tenth. And here we have the one tenth Spanish gold. This is the first 24 karat gold they have produced. And we have the lynx, the bull, and the horse. And moving across, we have a lovely one tenth Kronos by the Pressburg Mint. And over here, we have a one tenth Year of the Horse, uh, 2014, so Luna 2. Um, if it had been in the Australian version, it would have been Luna 2. But no, this was the Royal Mint. So this is a brilliant uncirculated coin. And uh, yeah, very nice. So working this lot out is a little bit more complicated because the sovereigns are all 22 karat. And then obviously we've got various sizes of various things all over the place. So what I did, I split them all down into grams. And in the one ounces, there are 22 ounces of one ounces, which is 684 grams. The quarters, I have 10 of them, which is 77.75 grams. The sovereigns, I have 23.45 uh, because of the little set up the top. Uh, 171.96 ounces, uh, gram, sorry. And the tenths, I have 19, which is 59.09 grams. And then some little random bars here and there adds up another 28 grams, which gives me a total of 1,021 grams. And if you convert that back into ounces, then that's of pure gold. And you convert that back into ounces, it's 32.82 ounces which is basically a smidgen over one kilo of gold so right there we have a kilo of gold i love my gold i always have uh this is what the big aim is now is to convert some silver into gold the price is very strong at the moment so uh, not necessarily the best time to buy but i believe it's going to go up a lot more uh and so i think i'm pretty safe in my bet of what I'm doing. So that has been what this series has been about. It's been a full stack reveal. So I could record what I had built in two years and now move it about a bit, convert it up a bit uh, so I can be into the metal I want to be in, which is gold. There is going to be a lot of silver I'm still going to keep because I do believe there's potential there. But really, gold is where it is for me. So, guys, I really hope you've enjoyed this little series I've put together. There will be some follow-ups in the next couple of months to let you know what I sold, what I bought, and how it's been developing. Um, this is the Cobra Stacker, signing off from the Cobra's Den.